So Outcaster one here with a quick little setup trick for Professor Flaxbeard's Wondrous Steam Power mod. I've been doing some uh, testing here and getting some a little more automation out of this mod here using normal stuff here. So I got 12 normal furnaces all going, auto loading cobblestone into them to make more stone. And each one's got a steam heater going onto it and so far this auto loader is keeping up with everything. So I got a steam gauge on the back side of this tank here. I can't put one directly down here on the back of the boiler. It has to be up top here. So to uh, make things a little bit easier and keep separation, I put it on the back of the tank to the comparator. Eight pieces of redstone dust to a redstone torch to the dropper. Now the dropper will feed the coal block directly into the boiler, which is really nice. And uh, it's been keeping up with all 12 of these furnaces. And yeah, so it just shut off right there. The coal block just uh, burned out. And once it drops down below that uh, eight redstone signal, it's gonna turn that torch back on, drop another piece into it, and off it goes again. So yeah, we'll just sit here for a second and wait for it to go. There it goes. And yeah, so it, it looks like 12 is about the limit that it'll keep up with. Uh, you may have to have multiple of the setup to keep up with more than one uh, system here, but it's a it's a neat way to keep the system going uh, even when you're not around. I mean, there's there's enough room back here that you potentially could put, you know, two droppers and two hoppers coming out of the one furnace, so it, it feeds two blocks into it if you have a lot of more heavy uh, system going and have a similar system going the other way around to feed that one. But uh, yeah. So yeah, here it's been Outcast Zero One with a uh, quick setup trick for Professor Flaxbeard Wonderous Steam Power mod. Get out there and get building, guys.